What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. I am miles out of Dallas, Texas, but I'm currently in Elkhart, Indiana right now for this Keystone open house event. Really, it's an open house for the whole RV industry, but I'm here on behalf of Keystone. They were gracious enough to let me in here and get videos of all of these new 2023 models that we're gonna have available soon. This year is one that I was really excited about. This is a Springdale 281 RK. So this is a rear kitchen Springdale model that has a posing slide out. So you can see the slide back over there. There's another slide on the other wall that opens this thing up like unlike any other Springdale model I've ever seen. So I'm really excited to show this to y'all. Let's go. Hey, welcome back to another video. If this is your first time tuning into one of my videos, I'm super excited that you're here. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy. And if you do get something out of this video, consider hitting the like button down below and definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you would like to connect with me on other social media platforms, links to my Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook are down below in the description where you can find other RV-related content that I upload regularly. And then finally, if you are interested in this RV, Keep in mind, I am in a sales position. I do not get paid by my company to come out here and make these videos. I just do this on my own time in hopes of finding people like you that might be interested in this RV. So I would love to personally assist you in helping you make this RV yours. So you can either text me at the number on the screen there or there is a link down below in the description that you can fill out with some basic information that will help me best help you. So go down there and fill out that information if you are interested in this RV. Let's get into the video. I'm really excited to announce that thanks to my father-in-law and really a full family effort, we now have 100% Spanish speaking RV tour videos online. So whether it's YouTube, TikTok, or Instagram, if you just search RVs con Luis, you're going to find his pages there where you can follow him or subscribe to his channels. And they're going to be a lot of the same videos that I normally post. They're just going to have Spanish dialogue on them. So we're really excited about this. Go check out those pages. You can find the links down below in the description of the video to those as well. And like, follow, and subscribe and share with your friends and family. All right, y'all, so this is the 2023 Keystone Springdale 281 RK. Now, first of all, Springdale is getting new graphic packages on the outside for 2023, so a little bit different up front here. And then every single Keystone trailer, including Springdale, is now going to come with a tankless on-demand water heater. So you now have a tankless on-demand water heater, and you have two lithium batteries up here. These are going to be 100 amp hour Dragonfly lithium batteries that it'll come with as well. Both of those things are now standard on every Keystone RV across the board. The only thing not coming with the tankless water heater is going to be Montana because they are going to have a 16 gallon gas electric water heater. Now you'll be able to see the floor plan layout here as well as the specs. So you can see everything there on how this floor plan is laid out and the specs here as well. See some of the different things that are featured in this trailer. So this is really cool to see. This is more of a you know, Springdale is more of an entry level travel trailer, but really upping the game, going to the tankless water heater, the two lithium batteries up front also has a 200 watt solar package on it, really coming with a lot of great features in it. Then when we get underneath here as well, fully enclosed underneath here, your underbelly is fully enclosed and has your water lines and water tanks sitting above the insulation. So whenever you have your furnace on, you're going to be having heat going to those water tanks and water lines to prevent them from freezing as well electric stabilizers all the way around, pass-through storage compartment in here. And then it is an aluminum sided with wood frame travel trailer here. Um, that's pretty much everything. You have the two propane bottles up here and the power tongue jack as well. I am in an event where there's lots of people here, so there may be people coming in and out. Um, I'm gonna still try to get to all the detail I would normally get to in a video, but it does get a little bit distracting sometimes with all these people going around at this event right now. You can see you do have a spot where you can mount a TV outside. So where you have that mount at, this is actually what that looks like when you have the TV mounted there. Have the outlet there as well. That is an inverted outlet. So if you added an inverter and expanded upon the solar system, you can start getting power to some of the different inverted outlets. Outdoor speakers awning up over here. And then you have the slide out here to really open up the space inside. So come around to the back, you can see the 200 watt solar panel. It's actually a 220 watt solar panel now on there. Um, it was a 200 watt panel last year. I guess it went up to 220 watts for whatever reason that may be, but a 220 watt, watt panel on there. You have your bumper on the back where you'll have your storage for that as well. And then your Springdale logo on the back. Really clean, nice looking text on there. You have a spare tire on the back that it will come with. And then this is a pretty clear indication of when you have a tankless water heater. Whenever you see this little circle exhaust, 
that pretty much means that it's a tankless water heater. I haven't seen anything that has a circle exhaust that's not a tankless water heater, so that's usually my first indication that I'm looking for. You are gonna have a rack and pinion style slide out mechanism back here on your slide. And then your 50 amp plug right there. So it will be a 50 amp unit, 2AC capable. Doesn't mean every dealership is gonna order it with 2ACs, but I can pretty much guarantee you in Texas, we'll be ordering this model with 2ACs. Backup camera prep as well, so you can get a backup camera on it. And then as we come around this side, you do have your outdoor shower area, your black tank flush valve. So this is where you can flash the black tank and send pressurized water through there. Outdoor shower, and then your black and gray tanks all drain out of here. Plus you do have an additional gray tank back there just for the kitchen. And then water hookups right here. Access to the pass-through storage from the other side. This is locked but you'll have your solar charge controller in there as well. And then you have your battery disconnect box here. So if you're wanting to just kill all the power to the battery, really clean and concise here, getting straight to the point, has everything back behind in this box. So it's not a wired mess up here. And that's where you can kill all the power to the battery if needed. And that is pretty much everything on the outside. We're gonna walk back around the trailer to get back to the front. And there's people in it right now. So I might have to wait a little bit to go inside because I don't wanna interfere on their demonstration right now. This event that I'm at, this is actually the open house. It's an RV open house at the RV Hall of Fame here in Indiana. And this is the dealership's opportunities to come in and see all the brand new floor plans and place their orders for brand new floor plans for 2023. So honored to be here because there's not many people that do what I do that are at these events. This is more of a dealership event and just being, you know, your average ordinary salesperson, I uh, feel very privileged to be here and honored to be here, but we're gonna wait for them to clear out of this trailer and then we will go take a look at the inside. All right, y'all, this thing is so wild, wildly popular. It took me all day to be able to even get inside because everybody just wants to hang out in this model. Again, you have the outdoor TV there. And then when you walk in, you have your fireplace and TV right here as you walk in and look at this. Okay, the camera is not going to do this justice, I don't believe, but look at how much floor space is in here. It is unreal. I have never seen so much floor space in a travel trailer. Absolutely incredible. You have your big recliner seats there, and then you have all this floor space in between. This has the same flooring as the Montana. So your subflooring underneath here is what is called Dynaspan. It's a single piece flooring that has no seams in it. And then it's marine grade, so it's resistant to water. So water will just bubble up on it. And it's all one piece, so there's no seams anywhere which means you're not gonna have those seams that squeak when you're walking across the floor over the lifespan of your RV and things like that. Do you have new interior color as well? This is something that they didn't have for last year's model with this light color furniture option. And then you also have more of a gray tone here in your booth dinette. Big U-shaped dinette, big campsite windows, and then look at all the windows all the way around. I mean, this floor plan, is killer. There's a reason everybody's been hanging out inside this floor plan. It is amazing. Huge kitchen space. Look at all this countertop space that you have here. You have this little spot here to hang different things. You have magnets here so you can put things like knives or whatnot on there if you want or whatever is magnetized on there. I thought knives and I was like, well, if you have kids, maybe not knives, but you know, whatever you can think to put on there. Inverted outlet here. So with the 400 watt solar system, you'll be able to get power to these inverted outlets. Also, if you have the inverter, and then you have your controls for the tankless water heater there. Really nice looking shelf all the way back through here for some decor or some kitchen uh, necessities back there. You have a black uh, plastic sink here with the drying rack and then a black faucet here as well. Next to it, you have your three burner stove. This looks like this is a um, graystone stove here. Let's see, yeah, yep, Greystone stove and oven. Standard size RV oven, nothing too crazy with that. Keep in mind, this is more of a, you know, entry level travel trailer, so it's not gonna have all the super big appliances or anything like that. You have your microwave here, um, that's an RV size microwave, and then all your kitchen countertop space along this side. Outlet there, outlet there, and just so much natural light coming in into this space. And you do have the air vent right there as well. Next to your right here, you have, or to your right of the kitchen, you have this Everchill 12 volt refrigerator. So that will be running off your battery and solar system there. And then you have your pantry space directly next to this. We have a nice big pantry shelving in there. Two tiers there as well. And then 
in your recliners, I just realized you have flip up armrests that have storage in them and storage in the middle as well. Wow, really big storage space in the middle. Cup holders in the middle and cup holders on the sides. And USB ports up over here as well. So pretty good view of the TV from the recliners. It is angled just a little bit so you can't see it. Definitely doesn't feel like you're turning your neck super far or anything uncomfortable. The only thing that's a little weird, which I wouldn't mind this because like my family, when we go out camping and stuff, we're not really trying to watch TV all that much, but sitting in the U-shaped dinette, you're not gonna be able to see the TV when you're tucked back in this corner. This will make to an additional bed, so this table will collapse and sit in this area here where you can fill it in with the cushions to make this a big over six foot long bed there. And that'll have a lot, a really big sleeping space when you do that, so you can sleep even grown adults in this space. This is a freestanding table, so you can move this to the middle of the floor if you want or whatever you feel like doing in that regard as well. Then you have all your windows all along the side here. Um, LED light up above this slide out box, giving it a little more pop of color. And then you have a barreled ceiling here. So your ceiling height is gonna be nearly about seven feet in here. It might be like six, nine or so, possibly six, eight, six, nine. You have the blade AC vents in here with your ducted AC. So these will push air out in a 360 degree motion throughout this RV is gonna give you a much better airflow coming out of there to help cool down the RV quicker in those hotter climates like Texas where I am from. You do have the fireplace that will put out heat. It is an electric heat source that has multiple different color options. I like the purple best personally. All your sound controls right here, all your controls for your slide outs and lights and awning right here. And then you have your shelving up here with your TV there. All of these Keystone models with the lithium batteries are going to come with this battery heat switch. So that's going to allow you to charge your batteries in freezing temperatures because you're supposedly not supposed to charge lithium batteries when it's below freezing. Flip that battery heat switch on and then you don't have to worry about it because it will keep your batteries heated so that they don't get damaged. I almost missed a couple things because right here behind the door, you have another pantry space here. So another designated pantry that you have behind this door there, I totally missed that because this door was open to the bathroom. So you'll have that door there. And then check this out. This is something that's new where you have this on the go ladder from Lipper that you'll get. All these trailers are gonna be prepped for this ladder and then you would just need to get the ladder if you wanted it that will connect right here on the top of the trailer. So we've, they have that displayed out here on a couple different models, but this is gonna be this kind of on the go ladder that you can get from Lipper as well. Spot for a Wi-Fi router up here so you can get Wi-Fi and 4G LTE in this trailer. And then you have a pass-through bathroom. So as soon as you walk in here, you're going to have your shelving there, your sink, your medicine cabinet. And then what really impressed me is how big the base of this shower is. That is much bigger than what we're used to seeing than just a standard little rectangle shower. That probably adds about another six inches of depth that way to this shower, giving you a much bigger space. You can put a plug in that and get about an eight inch deep water tub. So you could, you know, put a little kid in there or something like that with some shallow water if you wanna use it for that as well. Barrel ceiling gives you nice ceiling height here. So when I step in here, I would say the height to here is about 6'3 to 6'4. Um, so my head doesn't even hit that and it gets higher as you go through here. Plus you have the skylight that goes horizontally. So it can easily stand in this. You'd probably have to be about 6'7 or so before you'd start feeling real uncomfortable in here. The shower head sits above my head, actually. I wouldn't have to duck to get underneath that there, so that's nice. And then see the rest of your bathroom set up here where you have the toilet there and your storage. And then it comes with your shower curtain here that slides across. Now, another cool thing they did, you have your storage here and your storage here that is all accessible from the bedroom. These shelves here, or sorry, these uh, cabinets here, also open up and when you go back around this way you can see those go through to the bedroom so this storage is all accessible from both sides lots of storage there so whether you want to use this for wardrobe storage so you can get your clothes right when you get out of the shower or from in the bedroom you could have one person showering and one person in the bedroom and both of them could grab their clothes at the same time little things like that you have your sink here and then your storage down underneath it that is a two-tier shelf system. You know, I was thinking it's kind of nice to have all the little extra decor here to film the RVs, but then it just gets in the way of everything when I'm trying to show stuff. So have your outlet there and a medicine cabinet opens on this side and you'll have your medicine cabinet there. 
Going to the bedroom, you have a queen size bed here and then something that is nice that uh, Springdale did this year is change the finish on the bedside here where they give you that same kind of tan wood finish here on the bedside. I think it was just carpet last year for 2022 if I remember correctly. Inverted outlet here, your outlets there, more wardrobe storage, a two tiered shelf system here with really deep shelves, lots of storage space there. This one is prepped for a second AC. I'm guessing in Dallas, we will probably be ordering all of these with two ACs at the size of this travel trailer. And it is a 50 amp RV, so you can do two ACs. You have a much better looking space going down into the pass-through storage where it's not just some flip up board there. It's actually, you know, matching the decor and a little bit more detail put into that. And then you have an outlet here as well. You will have storage underneath the bed. So you have all your storage down underneath here. See all the stuff that they're able to fit in there. You can put a TV on the wall there. You can mount it to the wall and have your plugs for that. And then you have a sliding pocket door from the bedroom going back out into the living space. And that is pretty much everything, y'all. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments of what you think about this model. I'm telling you, I think... This one has been the hardest one for me to film here because everybody always wants to hang out in this model. So, so much space in here to entertain, which is really cool to see in a lower priced travel trailer option. All right, y'all, that's all I got for you. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button down below and definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you are interested in this RV, I am in a sales position, so I would love to personally assist you in helping you make this RV yours. Keep in mind, this is a 2023 model, so I have no idea when we might be getting these in or when these might actually be available for purchase. But if you go down to the inquiry link down below in the, the in, wow, down below in the description of the video, you can find my RV inquiry link, select the Mesquite location, that is where I'm located at, and that will send your contact info directly into my inbox here so that I can get you all the purchasing information that you need and maybe we can get a deposit on one for you so you can get one of the first ones in the country. So that's all I got for y'all. Until next time, I'll see you out camping.